Very nice, yeah. Get the knife. Cut out the baby. We lie. Holy man, we lie. Cut off the baby or cut out the baby? What do you say? Get the knife. Cut out the baby. Cut off the baby. We're live. Holy man, we're live. Yeah. 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 Insult me, DJ Khaled, man. Are you really here? Cut out the baby. Take out the baby picture. Cut out the baby picture. See, what I think it is, they want to destroy the plaque, but they don't want to disrespect the baby. That's what I think. That's why he's saying cut out, cut out the baby. Because that's DJ Khaled's son, isn't it? So, yeah, they want to destroy it, but obviously they don't want to disrespect the child because the child's got nothing to do with whatever the, the quarrel is. You know what I mean? That's um, that's what I think That's what I think they're doing. We'll, we'll, play, we'll run it to see if I'm right, but um, Sizzler's a Rasta. They're obviously, they're, they're God, God, God-fearing people, innit? They're proper people, like, they're respectful. So that's why it's deep because for for someone like Sizzler to feel a disrespect, um, do you know what I mean? It's it's uh, something must have happened proper because Rusters generally, from what I understand, you know, it's a peaceful people, it's a peaceful religion. So to feel disrespect where he wants to break up the plaque must be some real shit, man. Must be some real shit. You insult me, DJ Khaled, man. Oh, yeah. John. Cut out the baby picture. Baby innocent. Yeah, the baby's innocent. See what I'm saying? I insult Rasta. Bon, He said, I'm going to go get them a shit. What, what, why is he so upset though? Why is he so upset? What did Khalid do? Let me run it and figure this out, man, because... Hold on. Present a plaque to Caesar. I don't have a proper picture. 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 Because that's what people were saying this because his name's too small and it's not a picture. So he just said, look, he just said, there's not a picture of me. The picture's not proper. I'm, I can't even see my name. So what's the point? Of, it's for real though. Like, if you're going to send man a plaque here yeah, to say, you were part of this project and you were part of this this record and you know you contributed to making um what is that saying double platinum you contributed to it but there's nothing really about me on the plaque so let's let, let's play devil's advocate or should i say god's advocate can't, can't ban the devil in it but on the flip side like what's sizzler meant to do Let's think of it realistically. That plaque here, yeah, is he meant to hang that up in his house, in his living room, like proud? But wait there, it's got a picture of someone else, of a, of a next man or the next man's you. And I swear I saw in the background the other plaque had a picture of Khalid on it. 
So really, why am I hanging up a picture of a next man? Surely, I don't know if it's the way the label do it or the way... I'm sh- I can't imagine it's how Khaled's patterned it specifically where I'm going to give all the contributors this plaque with my face and my youth's face on it like that's just the album cover so I'm sure it's like by default that's how the plaques come in it but at the same time boy it ain't gonna be Sizzler's first plaque so maybe he has got other plaques where it's it's a different picture and it's, it's a different accreditation because yeah for real why am I gonna hang a picture of next man up in my living room and then when people come to check me I'm like yeah you, you see me that 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 was me Double platinum or platinum, whatever, and they're looking at it like, bruh. Don't look like you, you know, fam. Don't, it don't look like you, you know, my brother. So, I get it. Like, what are you meant to do with it other than it, like, you put it in storage or something? Because it don't really celebrate or kind of, you know, uh, recognize the work that you've done because your face ain't on it, your name's barely on it. So I understand still. I understand, man. It's it's a mad one, but I don't know if it's Khalid where he could have done something different or it's the label or it's the, even the organisation that gives out the plaques and the platinum accreditation. Um, Was it RCAA or RIAA? I can't even remember what they're called. Yeah, them lot. I don't know who's guilty here, but um, Sizzler ain't happy still. Yeah, if it is. No, no, the greatest boy, yeah. See then? No, that. Grateful with no gratitude. Yeah, man. He just collect the nurse, yeah. All for years, that I feed him. That I put in energy. That I bust him. The greatest thing. All for years, that I bust Kali. That I big up here. Yeah, the strength over the years. All for years, that I feed him. Yeah, man. All for years. That's yeah. Babies are innocent. That is it. That is it. That's facts. Yeah. Represent. What of the mouth of day when stuff came to the end of the It's because of the enemy. Oh my, it's still the enemy. Yeah. 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 So put the baby up as a... Who are the man of life? So last year. Last year. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Yeah. Baby up as yeah, up, up, up. Respect the baby. You put that picture up, but the rest of it, nah. It's true. Like, look at this picture. What are you meant to do with that? Hang it up on your wall. A picture of a next man. It's a bit, it's a bit mad, isn't it? See if the beard is. Love the beard is there. This is the youth. Yeah. yeah. Honda. Red fire. Oh, yeah. That's what I mean about Rasta and Jamaica. See, that's what I mean. Like, they're still, even though he's mad and he's destroying the thing because he's, he finds it disrespectful, he's still found it in himself to be respectful by taking out the baby picture and... and and putting them separate, do you know what I mean? It's still respectful. It's not just like man ain't no vandal. It's not vandalism. I'm gonna talk about vandalism in a different different video. That's that's a whole next thing. The vandals. I'm digressing. I'm gonna come off that, but he's still respectful in what he's doing. So you can only respect it. Yeah, man. Get rid of that. Rasta. 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 See, I'm sharing ignorance now. I don't even know what that is. I, sh- I feel like I should know what that is. What is that? Let me know. 
If anyone knows in the comments, let me know what that is that they're pouring to light the fire. Because is that just um, a flammable liquid, like any flammable liquid, or is there some cultural significance behind that particular liquid and why they called it red fire? Let me know. Watch your blazer. Watch Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Got and clear. Passwords remembered for you. There's no place like Chrome. This is Onti, the all-inclusive electric car subscription. Simply pick your car and you're off. You insult me, DJ, you call it. Babies are innocent. I saw that the boss. Assad the boss. Assad the boss. Bonda, insult me. You know the best, you're the worst. How oh, you feel like DJ Khaled? You can't style Sizzler. I'm me boss you, man. I'm no, a man say you're not the best, you're the worst. <laughs> but it's, it's true what he said, though, because just then he said he bust DJ Khaled. Khaled has been, before Khaled was even big, he used to go to Jamaica and, and obviously he was a DJ. So all these um, big DJs from Jamaica and the dance sort of artists, they brought in DJ Khaled from early. And if you remember a little quick history lesson, the movie um, Shutters, the Jamaican hood movie Shutters, it's a cult movie. If you ain't seen it, go, go see that if you're into that kind of thing. But in that movie, which American... Um, which American hip hop artists were in it? Wyclef John, and who played the bodyguard of Wyclef? DJ Khaled. So, DJ Khaled was getting brought in into the Jamaican um, music scene or entertainment scene from early. This film, I can't. Furthermore, when is when was that film made? When was that film made? That that's years and years ago. Let me see. Two thousand and two, so all twenty years ago, before anyone knew who Khalid was, like that, he was in that film. So yeah, that and that was that's probably still till this day the biggest Jamaica movie that's come out, the most popular kind of cult. Um, movie from Jamaica and, and Khalid had a had a role in that so I say that to say I could imagine behind the scenes Sizzler amongst many other um, Jamaican artists would have helped Khalid for his career so I guess by that token it's only right to say you know I want something back at the start of this video I heard the other guy saying when you when you want him or when you want something, you, like you help people, but when you want something back, you can't hear from them. You can't find them again. So it looks like maybe this was the straw that broke the camel's back. Maybe it's not the first time where Sizzler has felt disrespected by maybe not just Khaled, maybe other um, American artists or producers or whatever. Like maybe it's just like he's, he's had enough. Maybe, maybe he's also um, upset with the label. Because obviously the record labels have been coming under scrutiny lately, lately as well, and maybe 
do you know what I mean? Maybe he's not getting paid correctly for the record or didn't get, like, the contract went right. Who knows, man? But it feels like he's definitely, definitely upset. Definitely upset. On boss, yeah. Joke, you're joking. More fire panda. Go to now fire king and fire this. Show you what I go on. Bon, wrong plaque you send come give it. Africa. Burn the devil. Burn corruption. What you feel like? Wrong plaque you send. Me can't even see my name. And I know you are sent plaque come give me. For hard work. Joke you are take this thing. Burn black. Burn black. Yeah. Serious, yeah? Hang in! Children are an heritage unto the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is the reward. The LA, it's the last CIH, ah? Huh? The babies are innocent. Assad! Big up yourself. Yo, DJ Khaled, man, you insulted me, man. You insult Jamaica. Wallad Khaled. Everything about. What? You look at your own. I'd rather accept this as my black man. Babies are innocent. This is my godchild right here, okay? Rastafari. Put this in my studio, please. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Sir. You're welcome. Put it in my studio. You give me show. Yes, sir. Thank you very we'll much. Put that in my studio. Thank you very much. See, Lassie, bless you. Wacko. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that's a deep one, you know. That is a deep one, but hey, big up Sizzler because do you know what? The, sometimes it's like, especially as men, I can only speak from that perspective because guess what? I'm a man. But certain times when you feel disrespected and you don't say nothing, you don't speak up, you don't do nothing, and you let it slide, you let it slide, you let it slide, and then two twos, you let one too many slide, and it and now the energy is manifesting in you, and you feel down, and you feel depressed, and you feel out of control of what's, what what your narrative and what your story is going in through your life. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So the fact that sometimes you just got to take a stand, even if it's a small thing and people might say, oh, it's petty or it weren't Khaled's fault or whatever, like you could argue either which way, but if you let, it, 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 do you know what I mean? Sometimes you got to make peace with your own spirit and your own soul and say what's on your mind. It's like whatever that is, like some people might take it the wrong way, some people might take offence or be insulted, but you can go to sleep at night and no say that you're being true to yourself. And I think that's that's more important, especially in a current world where this over censorship and this woke left bullshit and everyone's so ultra sensitive about saying anything. Nah man, speak your truth. It don't matter who it is, no matter how big or influential the person is, big DJ Khaled. Yeah, but it don't matter. I don't care who you are. You could be John from down the street. Do you get me? If I feel like you've done something and I ain't feeling it, I might as well let you know now and we can have a conversation around uh, around it and we can deal with it rather than me letting it slide and then two, three years later, like, I see you and now we've got a problem and you don't know why. So big up, Sizzler. That's like, for me, that's, in, that's inspiring for me. That's what time I'm on. And that's what time I think like the real ones need to be on. Because like I said, on the internet, it's, it's just bullshit. It's bullshit. Like everyone's just on this um, molly cuddling sensitive shit. Like, nah, man, you disrespected me. You said like it was powerful what you said. You disrespected Jamaica. For someone like Sizzler to say that, it's not. It's not a joke thing. Like, like, do you know what I mean? And like the work that they've put in. This isn't a man where I feel like money and 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 wealth is is his reward. That's not his currency. Do you know what I mean? Love and peace, peace and love. Should I say? is his currency. But at the same time, when you put in so much work and you celebrate and you try and do right by other people and you don't get nothing back, even even the small gestures, it's not about the money, but 
just just that feeling and that sense of respect. Do you know what I mean? It's 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 a big thing, man, and it, and it don't cost a lot. It's free. Respecting someone's work ethic and someone's time, even is free. Do you know what I mean? And you have to do that. So big up Sizzler, live twenty five. Drop a like on the video and subscribe. We out, man.